Hey guys, Andrew from Simo Apps here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the user's location. Now, this is just going to be a printout of the coordinates, and you can also get the direction, the speed of them, and so on. Because most SDKs like Google Maps and Apple Maps already include a built in function to get the location. So, this is the way to get it manually, and then you could either manually set a map to that location, save it to a database somewhere or do whatever you want in your app. For example, you could use a location to then get the city they're in. So to get the location, just go to your view controller. I've created a new single view application here. And up the top, we need to do import core location. And after UI view controller, add a comma, and we're going to do CL location manager delegate. Now to get the user's location first, you need to request access. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new constant called let location manager equals CL location manager. And then to request access to the location, we do location manager dot request. And you'll notice this too here, there's a always off of authorization and also a when in use authorization. What the difference is, the always authorization allows you to get the location of the user, even when the app is shut down, it can run in the background, get their location. The when in use authorization can only get the location when the user has the app open. And they always will also let you get the location when they've got the app open. Remember, just additionally will give you the location of background. So I'm going to add both of them here. So the request always authorization integer dot request in use authorization. And I'll just comment that out. I'll just add a comment noting the difference between the two here. So for use when the app is open and in the background. And for use when the app is open. So finally, to get the location, we need to do if CL location manager dot location services enabled curly brackets location manager dot delegate equals self. Then location manager dot desired accuracy and we'll say we want the accuracy of KCL location and we are just going to say the accuracy best the best location we can get then we'll do location manager dot start updating location now this is going to start getting the user's location and to actually get the location, we need to add in a new function, which is did update locations, which we can see here. That comes from the CL location manager delegate. And to get the location, we'll do if let location equals locations dot first. If I'm do print location dot coordinate. And that will print out the user's location coordinates. Now, before we actually run it and get the user's location, you also need to set up some settings in the info.plist file. And what that is, down the bottom here, I've already added them, but you need to add these keys depending on what location you're getting. So, for example, say our app's to deliver pizza. If we're only using the location when the app is open, we need to add the privacy location when in use usage description. And this value will be shown to the user when the app requests access to the location. And then if you request a location always, even when the app's running in a background, you use this privacy location always usage description. So to add that, just hover on one of the existing items and click that plus button. And then you can select that from the drop down list or type it in. Let's go back to our view controller and run the app now. 
All right, so we can see our app running here. First of all, it goes allow get location, which is the name of the app to access a location. Then it gives us the description we set in the info.plist as to why you need to use the location. So if we tap allow, you can see in the bottom right here, it's printing out the user's loca location coordinates. And also just a quick note in simulator, if you go to the debug menu, down to location, you can define a custom location. So if you need to actually test a specific location in a world, you can do that in a simulator and it will pretend it's at that location. Now, one thing I also want to mention is you need to be able to handle if the user actually rejects giving your app their location, which a lot of articles and tutorials won't mention because the best practice is to use what's called deep linking. And then if your app actually needs a location for a specific function, what we're going to do is we're going to make a pop-up going, we need your location to deliver pizza and have a button on that pop-up that will take them straight into the settings for your app directly, where they can change that setting to give your app access to your location. So let's do that now. I'll just stop that. So what we're going to do under here, we're going to add a did change authorization right here. I'm going to do if status is equal to CL authorization status dot denied. What this function does is when you request access to the location, it will run through this and based on the status, you can make it run different bits of code. So we're going to make a pop up advising the user if they've denied us access to the location then we need it to deliver pizza. So we'll create a new function called func show location disabled pop up. And how this is going to work, we'll do let alert controller equals UI alert controller brackets do title as background location access disabled. Do the message as in order to deliver pizza, we need your location. And finally, the preferred style will do dot alert. Next up, we'll do let cancel action. Let cancel action equals UI alert action. Title will be cancel. Style will be dot cancel and handle is going to be nil. Alert controller dot add action, which is a cancel action. So this is adding a cancel button because they might not want to give us access still so they can cancel that. Otherwise, if they want to give us access to the location after rejecting it, we'll do let open action equals UI alert action. Title is going to be open settings. Style be dot default. So what we're going to do, just delete this here. I'm going to close off that default, put a bracket here, brackets action in, then a new line. If let URL equals URL as a string, and the string is going to be UI application open settings URL string. Then in here, we're going to do UI application dot shared dot open URL is going to be URL options. Do two square brackets with a semicolon in the middle. Completion handler as nil. Finally, close off that curly bracket. 
Okay, next stop, then we need to add the open action to the alert control. Let's do alert controller dot add action open action. And finally, we need to present that alert controller with self dot present to the user. And in that, we'll do alert controller in the UIU controller and I made it as true and completion as nil. Okay, so before we run this app, go to our iOS application, go simulator, reset content and settings, we'll go reset. This is going to reset the simulator to a state as if it's brand new, because we want to reject giving the application access to our location and then confirm that our show location disabled pop-up actually works. And also what you want to do in here is in this location manager to change authorization, add the show location disabled pop-up in our if statement, whereby if the status is denied, then show location disabled pop-up. So let your simulator reset all the way don't try and run it while it's going through this loading option, otherwise it might fail to reset. So once we've got that here, run our application again and we'll reject access to the location. All right, so let's don't allow. Now we can see here that the background location access is disabled. We've got a message. So let's go to open settings. We can see here, it takes us straight to our settings for our app. You don't have to instruct the user to manually go there. This is using deep linking. So then we go in here, can change the location access to always, for example. And we can see in the bottom right here, it's immediately got their location while the app's running in the background. So you can download the source code for this app below. And remember to subscribe for more tutorials.